Welcome back to the channel fam. I'm Becky. I'm Eli. And we're Becky plus Eli. And guys, uh, today we find ourselves in beautiful Paramount. We're actually out here checking out the grand opening or reopening of Orchateria in their brand new location, collabing with Pin Vida. So there is going to be seven pin vendors out there selling their stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. So as you guys know it, we love, we're all about supporting local businesses, uh, the local arts. And of course, since we're already out here playing Pogo, we might as well go ahead and check this place out yes. too and get some uh, goodies. So let's check it out. Well, fam, we are back at home after that long drive to, uh, to make it back. But uh, but yeah, so we wanted to go ahead and just chill with you guys for a little bit, go over the whole entire experience. We really couldn't chat there because there was some music playing, um, which really made it tough to uh, to converse and, and hear us. Um, so we didn't want you guys to go ahead and have to uh, sit through like really bad audio. So let's go ahead and cover <laughs> all the items. So we went to the re-grand opening of Ochateria, oh, yes. which was changing locations in Paramount. Now, if you've never heard of this place or you never, uh, uh, you know, uh, even have come across it in that little city of, well, it's not really little, but that big city of Paramount, um, it's uh, a Latin coffee shop. Uh, by, yes. by what I mean by this is that there are, you know, la Hispanic, uh, Latino desserts there. It's got a very yes, Latino like, vibe to yeah, it. Yeah, for example, they have horchata iced coffee. They have pan dulce ice cream sandwiches. They sell churros, churro sundaes, which is a must if you guys go and check it out because that looked insane. Plus they have a chill place to hang out and just uh, Latin inspired art all over the walls. It's chill vibes and honestly, we fell in love with that coffee place. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, first and foremost, uh, to have representation is always great to have um, something that's a little bit unique and you know that that speaks to you and volume is phenomenal um, yeah it's not in our local area but because we do travel throughout all of Southern California yes. um, you know playing Pokemon Go making vlogs mm -hmm. you know it's nice to know that hey on our way to LA on the way home you know there's a nice place that we could actually stop that you know that's true that that speaks volume um you know for us it's all about you know working and, and helping local businesses i mean especially doing youtube you know this youtube itself it, it's individual artists individual people building their own little businesses and so why not support other people i gotta give kudos to baby here because she's the one who actually found, ended up finding out about this information well, actually we'll give kudos to part-time works because i found out this event was going on because of you guys so thank you and shout out to word, you guys word. and as you guys might recognize the name there were we met them through biz Fast in our san diego video so if you haven't seen that the link will be up above yeah and so with that said guys we also want to go ahead and give a shout out to priscilla too because i mean this this is how it all connected yeah. i mean everything is connected honestly <laughs> yes. but you know we wanted to go uh to, to see these guys again because well initially when we were out and about we want we had bought some stuff and we wanted to pick up a few more items and we thought oh we have loads of time not realizing that we were fashionably late uh, getting <laughs> to the place so by the time we were like oh yeah let's go back and pick up what we wanted to pick up um, they had already closed up shop and you know, I don't blame them <laughs> like, it, it's exhausting it is tiring because they're out there you know on the hustle and grind and then also communicating with people which uh, can be emotionally draining for for, for people if you're not used to, to doing so um, so it was awesome you know the to go ahead and support an artist you love so much that you that you bond and, and like the stuff. I mean, more than like. I mean, honestly, we drove all the way out there because we really like their stuff. And yeah, we probably could have like waited for them to come to a local or a closer area, but 
Hey, we wanted to check out the coffee shop. We Honestly, wanted to check out the coffee that shop. Was, that was dope. The More whole, stuff. The, the whole experience, and we got to meet other artists, and we got some goodies. So we're yeah, gonna dive into that right now. Which we want right to go now. into too. Yes. Um, but with that, so let, let me just touch base real quick. So what makes the Orchard that he has really great, aside from having the Latin event, is that this location now in Paramount is having has a, a section located that is gonna be used for uh, bi monthly events for them to go ahead and have pin trading and items. So if you're in the area, we strongly recommend. We're gonna go ahead and put the links in the, in the description and then uh, some of the people that are actually going out some of the artists and they're supposed to be getting other artists as well yes. but I mean you know it got to support local businesses guys got to support artists I mean to to go ahead and have stuff that is really unique a niche for your own um, stuff that speaks to you or even right. to friends it's, it's very unique wonderful amazing stuff that simply put if you know you know and that's awesome and if you don't know they're more <laughs> than happy to go ahead and like fill you in and then it's just it's awesome because then you're part of the of the know. All right, so. so let's dive in. So the first artist that we're gonna cover is Mi Vida, and we got these cool LA pins. They honestly had so many uh, cute stuff. They do have a boutique, so we're gonna leave all the information down below. Mi Vida Boutique was actually the one that collaborated with all the artists that were there and brought them in into the location. So. Shout out to you guys and thank you guys so much for doing that. So they'll be doing an art walk uh, in the LA area and in Downey as well. So again, you know, their links in the description down below if you want to yes. check them out. But we, what we drew us in, I mean, they had, they do both uh, pins, some hats, some patchwork, and of yes, course, so um, clothing. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, the clothing. And so yeah. what makes it nice is that they actually have vintage flannel shirts and a few other like jean jackets and stuff like this with uh, Chicano Latino art on it, which is like pretty awesome honestly it's great uh spray paint de details and and stuff that screams to our culture yes. um chicano pride on it uh in this particular case you know the pins that drew us um everyone recognizes la as the normal los angeles we recognize it la uh because of our other channel's legendary adventures so the uh, the initials <laughs> um honestly is what screams to me yeah. but, I, but i personally love the whole entire um cute. type of writing in itself this is total representation so on top of that the wifey here found actually an amazing piece. Oh, this headband, which is so freaking dope. This is by Hot Sunday, and she makes these in collaboration with her aunties. So shout out to you, and she had so many cute things. And if you guys don't know what this material is, this is actually called a serape so we're hoping to get more made for me honestly <laughs> no yeah it's it's very nice i mean she had them already made which is really nice and then she had just the cloth itself if you want to go ahead and do the fold so either way and then of course she had uh, beautiful pins sticker works as well yes. everything cult uh latina influence you know a lot of uh brown sugar pride uh you know it's it's very nice to see you know powerful messages like that to be infused you know for for having pride in your culture um you know uh, representation i mean like I said, it's, it's just important. I know I'm not going to see anybody wearing this but me, so... Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It is a very unique piece. We're planning on a trip to head out to Mexico, Monterrey, so it'd be dope to go ahead and rock some typical stuff of out in the Mexico uh, culture, but, you know, with, uh, with a little artistry swag from out here in the States, so that's very dope in itself. Uh, honestly, I wish we had just... So much extra paper, uh, uh, cash to go ahead and like <laughs> pick up a little bit of everything, but we 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 had to make choices to go ahead and be like, okay, this really screams to us. Like, right. we'll pick this up on this round and then maybe on the next one. But there was the initial trip of why we we went there. We went to go see Part Time Works, and this time around we went to go pick up the things that we were missing to get the last time. Oh yeah. And so we actually wanted to go ahead and like we had mentioned before, Selena the Queen. Um, the, he has several, several uh, pins and designs that he does, both in pin form and in sticker form. I mean, these are amazing. These are amazing. Shout out to you guys for gifting us this sticker and since Pikachu. they yeah since they know that eli likes pikachu they gave him this one yeah. so i'm like oh my god <laughs> thank you so much now initially like i said we went to go get selena and we wanted to go ahead and pick up this darth vader like sugar skull format pin so yeah it's a darth vader with uh some sugar skull detailing on the on the helmet which looks freaking dope and yeah this one's actually a gift for my brother because he is a huge darth vader fan so we're pretty sure he's gonna he's love gonna this. love this one and I, we know he doesn't have anything like this so dope 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 the next thing that we got was I actually picked this one up for myself, 
which I thought I just couldn't resist because I have eight endless <laughs> paletas of mango with chiles so this was really dope i am gonna be rocking the out of this one so i love this one <laughs> yeah it was <laughs> very awesome very very cool yeah so and shout out so, again to part-time works yeah so not only did we get to go ahead and see the vendors you know the the great little collab area that they have yes. um because it's such an intimate location the vibe is actually laid back honestly Relaxed, right? you get one-on-one -on -one with the artists everything is spread out enough that you can enjoy it mm -hmm. you go in grab your coffee come back and like while you're either waiting for your your items to be made or you know sipping it and walking around it's, it's really nice it's, right. it's a very unique it, it feels almost like being at an art gallery than than being at like a, a pin trading or, or, or art like location mm -hmm. which uh makes it quite nice it, it definitely gives it the, the proper paramount vibes in that case but you know going into yes. the orchetteria we actually came across a few things so they actually had other great art pieces there um you know so, yes. some items uh to pick up but if you're latino or have Latino friends, you're very familiar with the game Loteria. Now, if you're a Doyer fan like me and the wifey, there's no way you're not picking up <laughs> Doyer Loteria. Yes, this is so freaking dope. And if you guys don't know what Loteria is, it's basically bingo for us. Oh yeah, it's, it's definitely bingo, but this is so <laughs> dope. I mean, it's got, uh, you know, the trophy, the bobbleheads, the stadium, the LA sign, Los Homies, you know, it, it's very cool, you know, and it's got, you know, everything tied in with the memorabilia but best part of all is that the giants is el diablo <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious that is. so it was very cool to, uh, to go ahead and get these uh, items in itself but honestly let, let's get down to, to the, 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 nit the nitty-gritty it, it, it's not even nitty-gritty it's it's an amazing coffee shop wonderful place um we had heard about it before but never had the opportunity to go visit it and so to go check out the the, the new location which is actually bigger than the previous one um it's it's amazing you know amazing so walking in i mean you get transported into something that's like okay you you recognize the culture that this, this is this is this is technically it's, a, home. it's actually pretty huge for it to be a coffee shop I, it was much bigger and there was a lot of places to just lounge around and just chill enjoy your coffee and tr enjoy your treats and there was a uh, latin music on yeah, right so the whole thing was themed out it was really really cool you know as the wifey said she got the well actually no you mentioned some of the things to get but we didn't say what we got oh yeah so i ended up ordering the horchata iced coffee and the iced latte so i got so i ended up getting uh, cafe de olla uh iced coffee right now if you're not familiar with cafe de olla is is that in Mexico, they, when they go ahead and make a, a pot of coffee, they go ahead and throw six of, of, of cinnamon into the coffee pot. Um, while the coffee is, is being made, it gives it a sweet taste to it. Um, and with a touch of milk or no milk itself, it's still a, a wonderful treat and it's very unique. It, it, it's Pero very, es de la olla. Es de la olla. It's, it's, yeah. It's también en olla. So it's a yeah. <laughs> pot. It's a pot. Clay yeah. pot. Yes. Okay. Key, key thing. And it does give it a different taste. So, I mean. It does amazing amazing thing i was truly skeptical about it um yeah yeah i was wrong it is delicious <laughs> super super delicious but i you know talking about the desserts itself as you guys see like in the in here i mean you know you could either do churros and you can do churros with su in sunday form um, or, or churros with dipping sauce or dipping they sauce have so many flavors yeah and then of course you can do uh conchas de pan dulce and pan dulce is sweet bread and like conchas just the shell type format with um sh uh, powdered sugar or like well not powdered sugar it's crusted sugar um on top of it in it, it itself it's really good really great with uh well, homemade horchata ice cream as well Heck with nuts yeah. and, and caramel. And honestly, when, when I've seen photos of this on Instagram and it looks amazing, but I've never had the opportunity to actually try it. Right. Now, because the wife he here is gluten, has a gluten allergy, uh, you know. He every, had to try it for me because. I, if, I had to make the sacrifice, yeah, guys. Yeah, if, if I could, I would have <sighs> picked that too. No, no, I, I, took, yeah. I, I took the bullet. I, I'll have to run it off at the gym. Yeah. But, um,. Ugh, running yucks. Okay. But going, going to it, going to it. The um, it was amazing. I, I was expecting for the ice cream to melt, 
um, you know, maybe the, the, the bread not to hold on to it or get soggy. But I'll be honest, I started eating it with a spoon because, you know, I really wanted to taste that. I was like, was what great. are you doing? I was like, take I was a getting bite. judged hard. I yeah, was getting take judged a bite hard. of the freaking ice cream sandwich. Yeah. Like, hurry no, up. No, no, yeah, yeah. That's, exact, <laughs> that's exactly what went down. And so, you know, I squeezed it, took a bite of it. It was rich. It was great. It was. I could see it in his face. So that, yeah, it, like, was, it, was a, it was a. Okay. It was a, it was a delectable dessert. Like, it was, yes, yes. The trouble with that, though, is that I also had to pick between that and churros between every bite. And I kept finding myself going back to the churros. And you're like, well, what's so special about churros? And it's like, well, there are churros that you get here made in the U.S. that you can pick up. Uh, I don't know, at a Pollo Loco, at a Super, maybe a little Mexican restaurant. That, you know, they're, they're piped, cut, and dropped into uh, a batch of oil. And it, and it gets cooked, and then you pop it out, and it's typical te texture of what you think um these are not made that way these are piped these are in a different format different texture different crunch um these are made estilo mexicano and that's dope dude the minute i bit into it my eyes started over to her and i'm like i'm sorry like I, all i could say was i'm sorry i i you know what we're, we're a married couple married couples go ahead and, and argue and fight and apologize I've never apologized so much in my life that she can't eat this. Like, I was like, I'm so sorry as I'm eating another and another. I mean, I got 10 pieces and I was just like, it was so good. So good. I want to go back to get more. But yeah, amazing, amazing food, amazing dessert. Uh, the customer service, a phenomenal, great vibe location. Um, honestly, can't wait to go ahead and uh, stop by again, get some coffee, and Heck then of course yeah. check out, you know, the, the oh, merch yeah. that they're going to have. You guys so. should check it out and order the horchata iced coffee because it was freaking delicious. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below. Which are the items you actually like the best, actually? Or if you have any ideas, you know, let us know down in the comments below. The artists are actually checking out the, this video as well, so they are open to designs as well. Um, and, you know, because let's face it, inspiration comes from everywhere. And That's true. Uh, well, until next time, adios. Peace.